<laughs> Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Martha. Martha Mwava Chanda. Okay, I'm a registered nurse uh, here in the United States of America. I'm in Fayetteville, North Carolina. I come from Zambia. I was trained at um, Lusaka School of Nursing, that is UTH. Uh, from 2005 to 2007, I was there for three years. I graduated then in 2007, and then my first posting was at Nchanga North General Hospital in Chingola. I was there from April to about November 2008, and then I transferred and moved to Kalalushi. When I moved to Kalalushi, I was at Township Clinic. I was there from 2008 to 2010. I found myself a job at Usakila Mine Hospital and I was at Usakila Mine Hospital from 2010 to the time I resigned and came here to the United States. So I came here in October 2018. Um, this is my first posting and I've clocked a year already. Time flies. Yee, I've got a contract with a great paid on. It's a two year contract. I have one more year to go. And so far, God has been wonderful. God has been faithful. And I'm really grateful and thankful. Uh, so basically, this video is meant for my people, uh, my friends, uh, family that have been asking questions about how the process is, how long it takes, what do I do, where do I go, what am I supposed to do, and all that. So this video was practically meant to reduce some of those questions. So whenever you ask me questions, I'll just post this video for you so that you listen to everything that I have to say. So uh, it might not answer all of your questions, but at least I intend to answer at least three quarters of those questions. You know, it's technology has simplified everything. Google answers all questions. I can assure you of that. It's what helped me a lot to get to this place. Um, so. Yeah, I started this process in 2016. It took me like two years for me to get here. 2016, November, I wrote my IELTS uh, in Lusaka. That was September 2016. In, I intended to go to the United Kingdom, I mean, initially. The exam that I took was, in, was the UKVI. UKVI is basically uh, an IELTS exam that you take to prepare you to go and work in the United uh, Kingdom. So, but it's still IELTS, it's still IELTS academic. So there are two types of IELTS, there's a general and there's academic, but for this for this particular process, you have to take the academic uh, IELTS. So there's a standard and there's a UKVI. So you can write either depending on where you want to go, but I had written the UKVI, but it still worked for America as well, because it's a still, I mean, it's still the same anyway. So, um, the time I was writing this exam, the standard one was 2,200, UKVI was 3,200, but I know it's been a while, so prices might have probably gone up depending on how they get to increase their fees and all that. So, IELTS is an English exam that you write at the British Council. Uh, British Council has two centers now. I think they have one in Lusaka. They also have a new center that opened in Kitwe. Yeah, so you book online or you can book by going to their offices. I do not own the rights to that music playing in the background. This is Ephraim's No Situation song. I love it. It ministers to myself. So, um, I use an English exam that you write to prepare you for this process. Um, it consists of writing, reading listening and speaking and you'll be tested in those four categories and you need to get at least a seven in each of these four things that i've said if if you get like 6.5 for america there's no problem but for uk they look at think at seven in all the four but i think they reduced the writing part to 6.5 something like that i'm not sure about uk so anyway um when you write that exam at the the, the british council then you can start the entire process depending on where you want to go you can plan to go to uk you can plan to come to the united uh, states of america but uh this entire video is for where i am because i am here so at least i know what i'm talking about so this entire video is for those one for those who want to come to the united states yes so the entire process took me two years i first wrote my ielts at british council in osaka and then after that 
I have two agencies that I know of and that I'm sure of that I know of that I, I know that they are indeed a legit. There's um uh, O'Grady Python International, that's my agency, and then there's also Avan Healthcare Professionals. So they both have uh pages on Facebook, they have online application uh, websites just there that you, you can just go to their page, search for them and you can just look at what they do and all they've been doing this for a very long time and they're very professional. So uh, once you write your IELTS, you apply online and then you'll be interviewed. I had a phone, I had a phone interview. They called me, they interviewed me through over the phone. And then after the phone interview, when you pass that interview, you get to do a written assessment. Depending on your score for that written uh, assessment, they'll tell you it's a pass or fail exam. They'll tell you that you've passed and then you go on to the next process. So once you, cl you, you clear that stage, you go to the next stage, which is NCLEX preparation. So what is NCLEX? NCLEX, that's N-C-L-E-X. NCLEX is a licensure exam. It's just an abbreviation. It's a licensure examination that you take to come and, I mean, it's a licensure exam that you take to have a license to practice as a registered nurse here in the United States. So this exam is a computer-based exam. The computer determines your capability as a registered nurse, whether you qualify or not. It's a computer-based exam, and the maximum number of questions that you can get is 265 multiple choice. And the minimum number of questions that you can get is 75. So depending on how you get to do, if you're doing so well, it might stop at 75. If not, it will still keep go I mean, it will still keep going. It will determine how you how you're doing okay it would the computer determines uh, your capability so once you pass this exam so for a grade pattern in particular they help you with that they have the Kaplan package it's an online thing that they have videos they have material they'll send you books uh, that you can do and then practice questions that you can do they'll give you sites that you can go to that will help you prepare for the exam so before you can have a debt to test, okay, before you can have a, t a debt to test, um, you have, you, you, ha you need to have your papers evaluated. Your papers are evaluated by what the, the, the evaluation body here, which is called CGFNA. It's basically an abbreviation as well. All this stuff that I'm talking to you about, you can just write them down and research more on Google. So CGFNA will evaluate your papers back home. It will evaluate your diploma. It will evaluate your transcripts and say, oh, yes, you qualify to come and practice here as a registered nurse. When they evaluate those papers, they, they get to give you what they call a CES report. That report is what you use when applying to the nursing boards. There are 50 states here, 50 nursing boards. So you decide on which nursing board uh, has, you know, which nursing board works best for you like for texas i know that they don't consider the ielts right from the beginning until after a certain stage so you can use texas nursing board and you know start the process from there so for me already payton did all that for me i was with illinois uh, nursing board uh, nursing board i they applied uh, for my license through that so it took a bit of time because general nursing council also take their time to send the papers and the papers will be evaluated and then Lusaka school of nursing also had to send the the papers the transcripts to them they also had to be evaluated and all that so the entire process can be frustrating can be annoying you might actually want to give up at one particular point but you know knowing what you want in life and working hard towards it is the ultimate goal really because you know what you need you know what you want and you're going to probably wait and you know do the best that you can do i had no loss i had a job so it was it was a thing for where if it works well and good it works best for me and my family if it doesn't work well and good i still have a job so you know god is faithful this entire process has taught me to be grateful god has been wonderful okay uh, he has been great so i wrote my first exam in india i can assure you i did not prepare 
I did a few questions here and there. I did not adequately prepare and then I had other personal issues going on. The time I went to write that exam, it hit me. I failed. And I failed with 75 questions. When you fail with 75 questions, it simply means that you did not do well at all. Yeah. I failed with 75 questions. Then I got back. And you know, a great person will pay for your flights. They will pay for your accommodation. When you fail, if you want to redo it, you have to do it. You have to pay for everything yourself. I came back home. The exam is like, it takes about 48 hours for the results to be out. And you'll be able to know by then. I get to the airport, coming back from India. They call me to say, we are sorry you did not make it. The shame of going back home. Oh my God. So I had to reflect. I had to ask myself, is this what I want? Do I want to do this? I didn't even have the money to go back to India to, to redo this exam. There is no center in Africa. The nearest center that I had was India. And the flight to India was cheaper than going to UK or, go, or coming here to just come and write an exam and then back. So the agency will prepare all that for you. They'll pay for your flights going and coming they'll play i mean they'll also pay for your accommodation while you're going when you get there the only thing that you have to contribute towards that trip is food and transportation within that place to get you to the testing center and back that's the only way you, you contribute i think they do well because you also have to you know do your part i can promise you i did not prepare the first time around i didn't prepare so um i had a lot of encouragement from my sisters, my mom, they told me, you have to go back and try again. I did not give up. This girl is a fighter. This girl is strong. Oh. So I decided to go back. I was wounded. I was at the library. Any chance that I would get from work, home. I have two small babies, a boy and a girl. I had I had help at home. Lock myself up, read, read every if I'm off from work, library. I was wounded. I was saying, no, 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 no. I'm paying my own money for this. I need to pass this exam. I went wounded. The, this time around I went wounded. Booked my flight, booked the exam. The agency helped me book again. I went back to India. Wounded. Ready guess what oh god did it 75 questions i was out of there with a pass yeah so um well some people are very fortunate they'll pass the first time well and good but it does not define who you are it does not define uh the kind of person that you are the kind of nurse that you are it does not i would i just tell you that the exam is doable okay it can be done it will, it's doable all you need to do is preparation so what i would advise you to do is prepare with the content know the stuff first know the material first saunders is good it's simplified it's it's easy it's it's the basics of nursing it will it will simplify things for you it will make you understand things the way you need to understand them you read the saunders book for i i read it the second time around from the first page to the last index you know everything i read i just went wounded i was like mm -mm. This is money I'm spending. I need to pass this exam. I prayed. I fasted. Oh, God is faithful, my friends. So uh, the next time around, I just went there wounded. I was out of that place with 75 questions. So content, my brothers and sisters, doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter how a question is phrased when you have the content. If they ask you, what is this? If you know it, it doesn't matter how they ask it. You are going to find the answer. So preparation is key. So once you prepare, you'll be ready. And once you are ready, you are going to smash NCLEX. It's nothing. You can do it. So once you pass your NCLEX, the next step is the immigration process. The immigration process takes a bit of time. Oh, you need patience, my brothers and sisters. You need patience. It will try you. There's what they call the I-140. 
once the l14 is approved and we've had a lot of denials a lot of rfes you know these things when you get there but you can just google them rfe denial that's i140 just go through that and just google it so that you get to know more i really can't go into details about all that stuff because i also don't understand them anyway so once that is approved your immigration process starts okay it's staged by so those so will tell you to do this so tell you to the agency will guide you will guide you it's step by step so when the time came for me to come here i didn't actually even believe it i was even scared to resign i was like mm, what if they change their mind to say no you're not coming and then i've already handed in my resignation but i've also learned to take risks in life that those are too comfortable those that don't take risks they never progress I put in my resignation immediately that visa was granted. Put in that resignation and that's how I'm here. I will tell you the truth. This entire process was trying. It's tried my marriage. It tried me as a person. It's tried me in all areas, in all angles. But it's worth it. I can do it all over again. I am here with my husband i am here with my two babies and we are doing okay so when you get here is it's different nursing here is different it 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 is computer charting most of the time we have a bit of paper but most of it all the work is done with the computer and somehow i think it, it has made life a bit easier and a bit you know quicker so you have 12, I do 12 hour shifts in a, in a week. I'm supposed to do like at least 36 hours, uh, at the hospital where I'm at, we do mandatory overtime every other week. So I do three, three twelves this week and four twelves the next, the coming week, three twelves and uh, four twelves the other week. So it's basically 12 hours shift. It's hard. I used to go six. I mean, I used to go seven, 13 o'clock. I'm out. But here I get in seven, it's seven to seven. I, I get in at 6.45. I'm there. I need to finish giving report. I'm probably out close to eight. It's, it's a lot of work, but I would do it all over again, especially, especially for my children. It's worth it. Um, it is challenging. It's got its own challenges, but I'm telling you there's nothing worth uh, everything in this world that is not challenging so you have to face the world and just do what you gotta do to achieve whatever it is that you want uh, there are so many opportunities not only opportunities for me but opportunities for my husband opportunities for the children opportunities for everybody it's a beautiful place I won't lie to you so if you want to come I've just explained what to do go ahead and start the process and this video is particularly for people that have interest. It's not for everyone. It's for people that have interest and people that want to come here, to come and work as registered nursing. Registered nursing here is kind of different from back home. It means a lot here when you have RIN behind your name. It's a great accomplishment. It's a great thing. You are respected as a nurse. You have, you know... It's well paying too. It's good. So if 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 you want to come, you can start the process. Take the chance. Take a leap of faith and start the process. You will not regret it. It's worth it. And it's doable. If I did it, you can also do it. So um, this is basically for everybody that's been asking questions. I know you still have a lot of questions here and there, but... It's a world of technology. Take advantage of Google. For iOS preparation, you have free apps on Google Store. You have YouTube videos. You don't have to pay no one to prepare for your IELTS exam. Even with NCLEX, there are free apps. You can read. You can download books. You can buy books online and all that stuff. Just prepare adequately. The secret is to prepare. The secret to any exam is preparation. You prepare adequately, you're going to pass. That's the only secret to any exam in this life. In this life, so this is for this is basically a video for everybody that's been asking questions. How did you do it? What did you do? Da, 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 and all that stuff. So it's really 
interesting. It's been an interesting move for me. I can really testify and say that I have no regrets. I have no regrets whatsoever. And I would do it all over again if I had to. Thank you so much for your time. Bye.